In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix neck and upper back pain for good. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe coming to you from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to go over easy exercises that can give both quick and long lasting relief for neck and upper back pain. And to make this easy, I'm going to break the video up into three separate parts. Each part works just a little bit differently. In the first part, we're going to focus on warming up the muscles, get everything loose, knock out tightness. In the second part, we're going to focus on getting long lasting relief by strengthening the main muscles associated with pain in this area. In the third part, I'm going to go over easy stretches that you can do throughout the day for instant neck and upper back pain relief. These can give relief within 30 seconds. So my best advice, go through all three parts, use what gives you the most relief. With that being said, let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is warm up the muscles, get some good blood flow in there, knock out some tightness. And one of the easiest and quickest ways to do this is with an exercise called the figure eight. This one may seem tricky at first, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy. I like to do this one seated. Just start with very good upright posture. Have your back as straight as possible. I'm going to go through several different movements, so I want to break those down before demonstrating it. To get into position, you're going to take your hands right here, place them right on the back of your head. You kind of want to gently just press your head back a little bit into your hands until you feel a gentle activation of the muscles in the neck. What we're going to do from there is put our elbows straight in front of us just like this. Just like the name, the figure eight, what we're going to do is trace a figure eight with our elbows. But again, we're going to go through different motions to target a lot of muscles. So as we trace the top of the eight, what you want to do is a big loop with your elbows. Really focus on moving through your shoulders, your upper back and shoulder blades. But as we trace that top part of the eight, what we're going to do is put the back into extension. So we're going to go backward like this, lifting our elbows upward towards the ceiling. So let's do that top part of the eight first. Let's do a big wide loop just like this. And once we get right to the top part of the eight, your elbow should be pointing up towards the ceiling. But what we want to do is stop right at the top and allow our shoulders to go back as much as possible. Focus on feeling a deep stretch in between the shoulder blades. You also want to let your head go backward like this into extension until you feel a really good stretch in the neck too. I like to hold this for a second or two and then what I'm going to do is then start to come back down towards the middle part. Again, taking that big loop right here, this time around my elbows are going to go a little bit downward towards the floor. Once we get to the middle part of the eight, what we're going to do now is the opposite. We're going to go into flexion. So we're going to bring our elbows downward towards the floor. Again, really focus on moving through your shoulders, upper back, and the shoulder blades. You want to keep going down until you get a really good deep stretch. Once you get to the bottom, lean into it just a little bit more like this. Also take your hands and gently tuck your chin towards your chest to get a little bit more of a stretch into the neck. Hold that for a second or two and then come back up towards the middle. So it's a nice fluid movement just like this of tracing that eight. I like to do this over and over again for roughly three to five times. And then once I'm done, what I'm going to do is then switch it up and go in the opposite direction. So we're making sure to target the muscles through as many different movements as possible. When you do this, you're going to notice that one certain movement is going to give you the best results. Maybe it really is targeting achiness, tightness, giving you a lot of pain relief. Let's say for me, it's going up into extension off to the right like this. The trick is with this exercise is to build into that movement over and over again. So what I'd like to do is stop right at a point where I'm getting a very deep stretch or right before the point that I'm going to experience pain. I hold that for a brief second, relax, and then keep building into that movement over and over again until everything is nice and loose or I'm not getting any more improvement. And then from there, I just build back into the regular exercise. It's just a really good exercise to identify movements that are going to target uh, the most, or I should say give you the most amount of relief. And it's a really good one that you can do throughout the day. 
So after we have the muscles warmed up, we're going to move on to the most important part, strengthening exercises. So don't skip this step. If you want long lasting neck and upper back pain relief, you have to make these muscles stronger. Here's a really easy exercise that you can do daily right in bed. To get into position, lie on your stomach, scoot forward until your head and shoulders are off the edge. What I'm going to do first is take two fingers, put them right on my chin, Slowly tuck your chin towards your chest and then press the back of your head upward towards the ceiling until you feel a really good activation of the muscles in the neck. You're going to hold this position during this exercise. From here, we're going to straighten our arms off to our side like this with our palms facing towards the ceiling. This is known as a shoulder blade pump. So just like a pumping motion, what we're going to do is lift our palms upward towards the ceiling until we feel a really good activation of the muscles in the upper back going into the neck. You want to hold this comfortably for five seconds. From there, you're going to relax. And then on the next repetition, we're going to change the position up a little bit to target some more muscles. So this time around, my arms are off to my side, so my body kind of looks like a T. I'm also going to do a hitchhiker sign with my thumbs upward towards the ceiling. What you're going to do is pump your thumbs like this upward towards the ceiling and with this one really focus on trying to pinch your shoulder blades as much as possible. You're going to notice the muscles in the upper back and neck get hit just a little bit differently. Five second hold, you're going to relax. The next movement, very similar, but we're just going to do a Y with our arms and then repeat. The last position is taking our hands, putting them on the back of our head, really pressing the back of our head upward towards the ceiling, winging our elbows up, pinching those shoulder blades, but with this one, really try to lift your chest off the edge of the bed as much as possible. You're going to feel a ton of muscles start to fire in the front, the back, and the neck five second hold you're going to relax from here what we're going to do is just go in reverse going through all of those positions the nice part is when you do this you're probably going to notice that one movement is the hardest maybe it just feels like you have a lot of weakness maybe even pain during that movement at that point treat it like your weak link like let's say for me it was when i was doing the t at that point you want to throw more repetitions in to strengthen that because the odds are you'll get more long lasting pain relief but afterwards see how you feel if it feels like you have a little bit more energy try to challenge yourself in those muscles by throwing in more repetitions through all of those movements in the last part, we're going to focus on stretching. Stretches are perfect to do after strengthening exercises to keep everything loose and to help avoid soreness in the muscles. But with stretching, you can do it throughout the day anytime that you need instant neck and upper back pain relief. Here's a really easy combination stretch that you can do that's going to target the main muscles of neck and upper back pain. The first exercise is called the turtle. This one is one of my personal favorites because it's a really good postural exercise too. So you're going to start with very very good upright posture. Have your back as straight as possible. What you want to do first is draw your shoulders back as much as you can, kind of like pinching your shoulder blades in the back. Once you feel a very comfortable activation of the chest and the back muscles, you're going to hold this position and then stick your head forward like this. So just jut your jaw forward like this, kind of like a turtle sticking its head out of a shell. When you can't go any further, what you're going to do is look upward towards the ceiling. At this point, you should feel a really good activation of the muscles in the neck. But this is how we're going to take this one to the next level. We're going to hold this position and we're going to drive the back of our head like this backward towards our shoulders as much as possible. You should feel a really deep stretch going from your neck into the base of the neck into the upper back. It usually feels really, really good. I like to hold this one for about 15 to 20 seconds. I relax. Afterwards, see how you feel. If it feels like there's a little bit more that you could go and target, I should say muscle tightness, you could target, throw a couple more repetitions in. So now let's move a little bit more into the shoulders and upper back. What I'm going to do first is target a muscle towards the front called the SCM or the sternocleidomastoid big instigator of neck pain. Also, this one makes it where you can't turn your head as easy if it gets really tight. So again, let's try to draw our shoulders back like this, pinch our shoulder blades. What I'm going to do is turn my head away from the side that I'm having the most amount of pain. Like let's say it's on my right side. So turn to look over the opposite side shoulder as much as you can. When you can't go any further, what you're going to do is then tilt your head back. So it's kind of like taking your ear and tilting it towards your upper back. 
as you do this, you're going to feel a deep stretch right over the front of the neck. And again, it usually feels really, really good. I like to hold this one for about 15 to 20 seconds, relax, and then I'm just going to repeat it on the other side to keep everything nice and loose. So from here, we're now going to target a muscle called the levator scapula, big instigator of upper back and neck pain. So this one's very similar. We're going to bring our shoulders back. We're going to look over our shoulder, but instead of going back with it, what we're going to do is tilt our chin forward this time. So taking our chin towards our armpit. You should start to feel a very gentle stretch from the bottom of your ear into the side of the neck towards the top of the upper back and the top of the shoulder blade. To deepen the stretch, just take your hand on the other side, grab your head like this, and slowly pull your chin towards your armpit. We call this one the armpit sniffer for good reason. This really feels good right here. I feel it into the uh, side of the neck going into my upper back. 15 to 20 second hold, you're going to relax and then repeat on the other side. The last movement, we're going to target a muscle called the upper trapezius, which is right on the top of the shoulder, goes into the upper back, into the side of the neck. This one right here causes a lot of issues. So for this one, whatever side that you're having pain, and let's say it's your uh, right side, you're going to shrug that shoulder up towards your ear as much as you can. When you can't go any further, you're going to hold this position, take your hand on the other side, hook the side of your head, and now slowly pull your ear towards the other side's shoulder. When you can't go any further, you're going to hold this and then lower your shoulder downward, almost kind of like trying to pick something off, off the floor with your hand. You're going to get a deep stretch into the side of the neck top of the shoulder into the upper back. To take this one to the next level, slowly turn your chin upward towards the ceiling. Wow, this one's really grabbing into that area. Hold this one comfortably for 15 to 20 seconds and then relax, repeat on the other side. Go through all of those movements. If any of them are really offering you the most amount of relief, really attacking tightness, at that point, throw more repetitions in until everything is nice and loose. If the exercises help, please support the channel by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching.